Hello guys, today we are going to test a single phase asynchronous motor. A single phase asynchronous motor consists of two windings, the running winding and the starting windings, which are connected from inside. You can see the motor consists of the terminal Z1, there's this other terminal Z2, and another terminal Z1. Z1 and Z1 are externally connected by this red cable. There is another terminal, U1 and U2. U1 and U2 consist the running winding. This is the start of the running winding and the U2 is the end of the running winding. Z1 is the start of the starting winding and Z2 is the end of the starting winding and it is externally connected. Now, the test we are supposed to do in this motor before we power it is the open circuit test in either of the two windings. The first test we do is the open circuit for the starting winding. We have said that the starting winding starts from Z1 and ends at Z2. So for us to test this, we power on our meter, we power on our multimeter, and then take our multimeter probe to the diode mode, where we can test continuity of end circuit. Now, we are going to test open circuit between the starting winding, which we are supposed to test between Z1 and Z2. Let's see if Z1 is connected to Z2 internally. As you can see, Z1 is connected to Z2 internally. You can see our meter shows us that Z1 and Z2 are internally connected. You can see Z1. So there is no open circuit between the Z1 and Z2. This means that the internally, the end and the start of the winding are okay. The second test is a, a open circuit between the running winding. The running winding starts from U1 and ends at U2. It starts from U1 and ends at U2. So you can see there is no open circuit in the running winding between U1 and U2. That is very okay. The second test is short circuit. We test if there is a short circuit between the running winding and the starting winding. If there is a short circuit between the starting winding and the running winding, you will find that the U1 and Z2 are internally connected. U1 and Z2 should not be connected. The meter should not show us continuity between U1 and Z2. Because if there is any connection, it means that the start of the running winding is short circuited, is connected to the uh, some part of the running winding which will cause a short circuit you can see there's no there's no connection so there is no short circuit between the starting and the running winding the second test is short circuit between the running winding and the body of the motor the body of the motor can short circuit with the starting with the running winding now this test we can test between u1 and the body of the motor you can see there is no there is no connection between the body of the motor and U1. We can also test it between U2 and the body of the motor. There is no connection. So there is no short circuit between the running winding and the motor body. The third, wind, the third test is the test between the starting winding and the body of the motor. The starting winding we have said is Z1 and the body of the motor. There is no, there is no continuity. There is no there is no short circuit between the motor, starting winding, and the body. The other test is the dielectric strength of the insulation, the insulation resistance test. That one we do using a mega meter. Now let's start uh, connecting our motor so that we can power it. This is how we connect the terminals. Externally Z1 and U1 are connected, as you can see, and externally U2 and Z1 are connected. Let's now connect the motor. To power our motor, we are going to connect our life cable here and our neutral cable here. In Z1 is our where we connect our life power supply and our neutral power supply will be connected to the Z2. 